and welcome back to another episode of the royal family so in this episode as you guys saw we will be covering some stuff with jabari and his ex and going through that just like basically what you guys just saw in the short scene and then we are also going to be aging up princess diana of windenburg into a teenager but first so since we had such a dramatic last episode i just wanted to fill you guys in on some stuff that has happened so basically the oasis springs royal family is taking a very much needed vacation. I also moved in Dowager Queen Lindsay with them. She went with them because this is a lot of stress and then I think that Naya's siblings like Michael, Francisco, and Megan, they'll all be joining them at some point too and I think you can only have seven sims or eight sims stay in a lot at Granite Falls or when you go on vacation. So they're going to be staying at different houses with their families. But yeah, basically just having some family time because I think it's very much needed. This was an extremely traumatic experience for Naya and her family and especially like her children and her husband and everybody. But while they're there, the police and some detectives are taking care of things here with what happened. So the kidnappers, they are thrown into jail for life. So they were tried for treason for kidnapping the queen, obviously. Harmony and Charlotte are actually nowhere to be found. So I moved Charlotte in with her mother into one household and they moved moved out of Sulani, they ran because they know that the police and detectives are after them. And then Lord Dean, he is being questioned as well and just telling them his side of the story, not questioned as a suspect, but he was just telling them that like Harmony never really filled him in on things. And I think it was because his wife, Leilana, is actually really good friends with Naya. And then Dean was getting close with Philip as well. They were becoming good friends just because their wives are really good friends. So he was more just supporting Harmony and not telling people about Harmony. And Harmony was never really filling him in on anything. Dean was actually able to find out about things and her plan by eavesdropping and listening in on her conversations. But he does feel extremely, extremely guilty. And Leilana has forgiven him. Naya and Philip have forgiven him, except Leilana's father, King Mahaka, is just very upset and angry with Dean and has already given him a bunch of lectures about if he's going to help his daughter run Sulani and help with things like he needs to earn his trust back and just all this stuff. So Dean is going through a lot with his father-in-law at the moment. So that's what's going on with them. Now we are going to go to Selva Dorada because we're just going to cover what has happened. As you guys saw, Jabari's ex is back. This is Zara and I honestly hadn't planned on adding her to the story too much, but I was playing the sims one day off camera and I had added Azara as Jabari's ex and then randomly Azara kissed Jabari so I could have ignored it but from the last episode you guys were saying that you wanted more drama so here it is just some backstory and I've mentioned a little bit of this before but Jabari and Azara they were engaged and Azara is a gold digger and extremely manipulative but when Azara and Jabari were engaged she left him to be with this really wealthy businessman who just offered her a life that she couldn't refuse. So now that she's back and Jabari doesn't know why, and after Zara kissed him, Jabari pushed her off and was just like, what are you doing? And they're talking outside because King came in and Queen Zamora hate Azara. And Queen Zabora has never even really liked Azara because Azara tried to go after King Cayman before Jabari and her were together. So it's just a whole thing. They don't like her at all. So Jabari was just like, we should go talk outside. But now Azara is basically just telling Jabari that she made a mistake and she wants to get back together. But Jabari is telling her that he's with someone else and he's happy and also just no because she hurt him so badly. I feel like Azara is being manipulative though and bringing up a bunch of happy memories that they had together. And Jabari was just starting to get over her completely. And obviously he loves Amira. He was ready to propose to her as you guys saw. But I think part of him is struggling because he really loved Azara and she's really good at getting Jabari to forgive her because they got in fights a lot when they were dating and it was just like a really toxic relationship. I think Azara is obviously upset that she's finding out that he's with someone else and in a serious relationship and that he seems like he's over her. But I think she's saying, like, okay, can we see each other again? Like, I want to be friends at least. And Jabari is just saying that he'll think about it. Jabari does have to go because we are going to have Princess Diana's 
birthday party. So Jabari is going to be going to that party a little bit irritated. I don't think he's going to be ready to tell Amira about this yet. So we'll kind of see how that goes. But yeah, we're going to go ahead to the Windenburg royal family now, but just wanted to cover this. Thought it was super dramatic and was not expecting to bring back his fiance, but now she's back. There's a little bit of drama happening too. So you guys are going to have to let me know what you think about that. All right. So we are now at the royal family of Windenburg and it is Princess Diana's birthday. It looks like Princess Bellatrix is in a serious mood. It says she's having a mood swing. So I think that she might be a pretty moody teenager. So that's not good. But we have Princess Diana here and she's all dressed up and she looks so pretty. I had a lot of people asking me if Prince or Queen Evangeline, if someone in her family has red hair and it doesn't look like anyone in her family did have red hair. So it is a little weird that Princess Diana had red hair, but I'm really excited to see what she's going to look like as a teenager. I know a lot of people and especially people who don't really watch my channel, if they see Princess Diana in the title, they're going to think it's like actually Princess Diana. So I should have probably thought that through a little bit before I named her, but I like the name. I think it fits her really well. She's super cute and I'm so excited to see what she's going to look like when she changes into a teenager. We don't have anyone from Oasis Springs here because the entire royal family of Oasis Springs is going through a lot right now. So no one is here. So we do have a Prince Kellen or Duke Kellen. He's here. Oh no, why is Princess Diana sad? <gasps> no, sad bomb. It's her birthday though. Oh, but she's hugging her brother Kellen. That's so cute. But yeah, Megan, she is with her family. And then Kellen obviously came because this is his sister's birthday. And then we also have Jabari here who is feeling very tense right now. I feel like he's trying to put on a good face and try to be happy around Amira, but I think Amira is sensing that something's wrong and asking about it. I don't think Jabari's ready to tell her about Izara yet, so I think they're gonna wait a little bit for that. Uh, Amira is pretty paranoid though, so I'm sure she's thinking about all this stuff in her head and wondering what's going on, but I think, I mean, eventually she'll just brush it off. It's her sister's birthday party, so I think she's trying to pay attention to that at least. I was also saying a few episodes ago that there was something wrong with the fact that when we were throwing parties, only one or two Sims would show up. So it looks like that was fixed. I know that the Sims had an emergency update to fix some bugs. So I think that must have been part of the bug. So I was so happy about that. I was like, we have so many events and so many parties. Please don't let this be a thing. So I think I'm going to have Princess Diana go ahead and blow out the candles. It looks like she's not feeling sad anymore. So that's good. Okay, so Diana is now blowing out the candles. She's going to be turning into a teenager. And I'm so excited to see what she's going to look like. Okay, so Diana has aged up. So we have mentioned many times that Diana is crazy. She is a little bit irresponsible, apparently, from what I've seen. So we're going to have her, I'm trying to see, I don't think like deviance would be a thing that she would be doing, but maybe just popularity. I think um, there's leader of the pack, world famous celebrity, party animal. I feel like party animal is probably her. I think that sounds like her. We know that she is musically talented. She's a music lover. I think that I'm going to have her be romantic too. So this is Princess Diana. She's going to be a little bit of a wild child. So I'm going to go ahead and change her outfits real quick so we can see what she looks like. Okay, so here we have a Princess Diana. And this is actually, or was, Queen Cora's hairstyle when she was a teenager. And it looks so good on her too. I think it looks so, so good. So yeah, she looks amazing and gorgeous. And I can absolutely see, I'm gonna have her call people in the mail. I can definitely see, I think, I think Evangeline in her face a little bit, but she also kind of looks like Queen Cora when she was a teenager too, which is from like Prince Head or King Henry's side. So I can definitely see Queen Evangeline in her face. I don't know about you guys, but definitely see it in her face. I definitely see Evangeline in Bellatrix's face though. So they have a definite good mix between their parents. So we do have a lot of people here too. So I'm so glad that that whole bug thing is fixed when people weren't showing up. It looks like we have Makai here, as you guys know, Makai is the royal advisor. So he's been chatting with King Henry a lot and helping get Amira prepped for becoming the monarch too. So the next ones to age up are Cornelius and Arya of Oasis Springs. Not for a while though. They still have a good amount of time before they turn into teenagers. I do think Princess Amira 
will be turning into an adult in a few sim weeks though. So I gotta get ready for that. I don't know if I'm ready for that quite yet. But yeah, so I think we're gonna end this episode here. Let me know what you guys think of Princess Diana and her new outfit and the way she looks. I just think she's so gorgeous. I'm so excited to see what kind of drama she's going to stir up as a teenager. Let me also know what you guys think about Jabari and his ex showing up. If you enjoyed this, make sure you click that like button. I probably won't be doing those short scenes in front of every single episode just to give you guys a heads up, but I'm glad I got to do them. They're a lot of fun and I think they give you a little bit more insight and depth and you can just learn a little bit more about the characters when you see those. So I wanna try to add as many as possible. If you are not already, make sure you click that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye.